Creator Myth returning again with another video and um, I was going to play Minecraft but Minecraft had an update that I didn't install yet so I decided to play you know a different game where it'll be you no know, more casual where I'm not really doing much because I want to focus on my commentary this video because I have some sports to talk about today so let's just let's get straight into the sports on January 20th um, Errol Spence Jr. he had a nice little boxing fight against Lamont Peterson and if you have seen you know previous sports commentaries of mine you know Errol Spence Jr. he's one of my he's in my top five favorite fighters um right now I really like watching him and I can see that he will be like the the face of boxing sooner or later you know one day he will be and I just know that he's gonna keep improving and keep getting better until he becomes just the top man in the welterweight division and his fight against Kell Brook truly truly helped him hone his craft and helped him become a a staple name within the welterweight community and when and within the welterweight division and this fight against Lamont Peterson it was it was a lot better than I I'm not going to say that I expected it to be I would say it was a lot more one-sided than I expected to be if you know Lamont Peterson you know that he is a good fighter um he you know he has some strength to him he's a very a determined fighter very courageous he doesn't give up and he he always puts his heart within his fights but sometimes you could be the bravest man in the world but when you fight an opposition where you can't do anything to them and they just walking through the best punches that you have not much you can really do about that so Earl Spence Jr. he came out within a fight landing his crazy jab well not really landing his jab because I don't think he landed too many jabs but he definitely uh, excuse me he definitely used his jab to his advantage to um, keep Lamont Peterson within a comfortable distance that he wants Lamont Peterson to stay in. Now, if you watch boxing and you really follow some of like the great current boxers, like some of the people that's at the top pound for pound, <clears throat> a lot of those boxers, they... They sort of fight within a certain distance. And that certain distance is the distance that they dictate usually during the whole fight. And that's the distance that they know that they will definitely just punish you and pummel you within that distance. And Earl Spence Jr., he did a excellent job just keeping Lamont Peterson within that distance and within that range where... He can, he can land his big punches, but also be able to dodge some of Lamont Peterson's big punches. And even though Lamont Peterson, he did land some good shots. Don't get me wrong. It's not like Lamont Peterson didn't land like any good shots. He landed some good shots. It just, he was on the defense for most of the fight. And th there was really nothing he could do. Earl Spence Jr., he took all of Lamont Peterson's big shots that he was throwing, and he just walked through it, and he just landed a, a combination of his own, and it was very one-sided. So Earl Spence, he just completely dominated that fight, and um, it was a great win for him, and I feel like this fight will definitely help Earl Spence Jr. get the fights that he wants to get. Um, he's been wanting to fight Keith Thurman for a while now to get the unification of the three belts that they have between them two. Then I would assume after that, um, he will have to go and fight the person who has the last belt. Currently, the person who has the last belt that Earl Spence Jr. and Keith Thurman does not have is Jeff Horn. Um, if you don't know Jeff Horn, he's the Australian guy 
who won a very controversial decision over Manny Pacquiao in 2017. Um, that fight, it was... You saw me talk about the fight. Um, I made a video about it. You could go watch the video and see what I think about it and my thoughts about it and everything. So, um, he has the last belt. And Terrence Crawford, who some people count as the best pound-for-pound -pound boxer out right now, he just moved up to the welterweight division. And there's rumors that he's going to fight Jeff Horn. And if he does fight Jeff Horn, he's... He's going to destroy Jeff Horn, like, point blank period. Um, Jeff Horn, he's not that, he, he's really not that good of a fighter, honestly. Um, I guess you could say he did the bare minimum for the judges to say that he won against Manny Pacquiao, so that's why, I guess that's why they gave him the win. But against a young, high-class fighter, um, in my opinion, he does not stand a chance so we're gonna see how long it lasts for him to hold that belt you know maybe he got better you never know because i always say in boxing box <clears throat> boxing it's something similar to football where you know in football any team could beat any team and same thing in boxing in boxing any fighter could beat any fighter but you know that certain fights it's highly unlikely that this person will lose to that person so um you know you never know he could have got better so that's i guess that's it for, for for my boxing news you know um if you haven't seen that boxing fight against Errol Spence and look lamont peterson i recommend you go watch it uh came on showtime showtime they are showing it during the week and they showed it you know a few times during the weekend they showed it two times on saturday i think they showed it again on sunday so they will be showing it you know more time because it was a great fight and on the undercard to that fight where it was east jr against um fortuna that was also you know a pretty good fight on um, that fight i would say that fight was a hard fight to judge because they gave it to um East Jr. But you could make an argument that Fortuna won that fight. Because looking and watching the fight, it looked like a very close fight. But when you look at the stats of the fight, East Jr., he clearly landed, you know, majority of the punches and everything. So um, if you don't look at the stats, like the punching stats, it will look a lot closer than than the stats make it seem. So that was like a hard fight to to judge. But Amis Jr. he got the win. You know it's great for him. Um, hopefully he can use his win and better himself so he can go on to bigger and better fights. Um, I heard him say he wants to fight Lomachenko, and Lomachenko will absolutely destroy him. So I don't recommend that. Um, he also said that he he wants to fight. Mikey Garcia, M Mikey Garcia will absolutely destroy him. Mikey Garcia will destroy him worse than Lomachenko would because Lomachenko, he is a great fighter, but Lomachenko, he's not a hard puncher like Mikey Garcia is. And Mikey Garcia, he is known for just punishing people. He can punish people. So, um, to East Street, you know, good luck with that. You know, I... I don't recommend it, but hey, what do I know? And then football news, um, the Patriots, they face the Jaguars, the Jacksonville Jaguars. And Patriots, they just came back from being down. I think it was like 10 to 20 they was down by, and they just came back. It was an, I don't want to say incredible feature, because being down by 10, it's really not a lot. And I can't move. But yeah, being down by 10 is really not a lot within football. Because that's just two scores. That's a touchdown. The extra point and um, one field goal. So it's not that much. But the fact that, like, it's the it's the playoffs. <laughs> point blank play. It's the playoffs. And in the playoffs, 
um any league any lead is um more important than the lead during the regular season um so and they just came back being down by 10 points and they got the win you know congrats to them i'm not a real patriots fan but i understand that tom brady he is the goat and when the goat does something you just gotta respect it there's not much you could do about it on the other hand the eagles and the vikings they played each other and the vikings got absolutely destroyed and i was a little upset about how badly the vikings got destroyed not upset because i'm a vikings fan i'm upset because my team is the Saints. I like the New Orleans Saints, you know, Drew Brees and whatnot. I'm mad that the Vikings, they beat the Saints. They did an incredible thing, and they had a very, very clutch of touchdown at the end to beat the Saints. And then they do all that to beat the Saints just to get blown out by the Eagles. Like, come on. Come on. Like, come on. I was very upset about that, but like the fact that Saints lost to them, it was, I don't know. I don't know, but the Eagles, you know, they came out to play this season. The Eagles had a great season. Um, I don't know what got into the Eagles or, like, if someone's giving them some steroids or something, but something about the Eagles this season, they just had a great season. Um, you know, shout out to them. I'm not an Eagles fan at all. When it comes to football, I'm not really a fan of many teams, but you know, I just enjoy watching football. So, any team that wins, you know, shout out to them. So, the Eagles won. The Eagles and the Patriots will be playing each other within the Super Bowl. And leave in the comment section, who do you think will win the Super Bowl? The Eagles or the Patriots? Now, I'm not a betting man, you know. I don't usually bet. Um, nothing against betting at all, but, you know, I'm just not a betting man. But if I had to put, you know, my marbles on somebody, I would most likely put my marbles on the Eagles. <laughs> now, it may sound weird because Tom Brady, he's been in the playoffs so many times. He has so much experience within the playoffs, you know. Um, the receivers, like Gronkowski, he's been in the playoffs you know a few times as well and they have experience and they and they know how to win and Tom Brady's the goat and everything but I think the Eagles have too much momentum right now I think the Eagles have too much momentum from the season and from them doing great in the playoffs to to lose uh you know but that's just me you know I'm I like to root for the a lot of people like to root for the underdog so I guess I root for for the Eagles this one time, you know. But this is it's a one time thing, Eagles. Okay, don't don't expect me to be rooting for you for forever. Okay, it's a one time thing. So that's coming up, and I will obviously make a video talking about that. Um. So uh, hit the subscribe button down below. Hit that like button down below. Comment down below. Who do you think is gonna win the Super Bowl? You can also comment down below. Um. As far as the boxing thing, wh who do you think Errol Spence should fight next? You know, if you are a boxing fan, you know, you should know who's within the welterweight division. Just tell me who do you think Errol Spence should fight next or who do you want him to fight next? And you can leave that within the comments down below. And I will see you guys in my next video. My next video will most likely be a Dying Light video, so look out for that. Um... So peace in.